What's up, degenerates? Mad Morrigan here for Cold Bear Sports. Right, lads, Saturday tomorrow, I've came down on three, a five to one shot, a six to four, and a five to four. Yeah, destiny is all five to four. Right, we'll come to that in a second. Just recap today on YouTube, I have one selection to come in. Um, where is it running? In Wolverhampton a bit later, I had uh, Fulgorex, he finished second in Exeter, and I had a non-runner as well in the first race at Exeter, uh, Falshida, was it? So that was a non-runner, I had one selection on the Patreon service, uh, unfortunately ducked off the track, uh, coming there with a chance, you know, challenging the leader after the last, um, the nice horse of Kim Bailey's. Unfortunately, I just thought the jockey coming up the straight, he had his stick in the right hand and he had a big loose rein and then he picked it up and he, you know, the whole way up the straight, he should have had his stick in his left hand. But anyway, look, it happens. Good young green horse. Uh, we'll see good days out of that horse yet. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give up on him at all. I'd say he's an airplane. Um, right. Tomorrow, lads, I really like in the first race of the air, internally yours. She's down in grade, she's back to a mark of 116, and she's dropping in trip. So the first race in here tomorrow, a pint each way eternally yours. Now, I would have liked to see them claim an offer because she's got top weight. But I just think on her day, she's probably better than these, better than this grade. So Craig Nicole takes the ride, or Craig Nicole, a very good jockey, takes the ride. But like I said, she's a handy mare, so I would have liked to see maybe claim seven off. Um, but I just think that if she runs her best race, she'll be too good for them. So eternally yours is an interest. She has rock solid form everywhere. And her run the last day was in two grades above against a couple of horses on the up. <coughs> Excuse me, like Wakul. Wakul of uh, Noel, Noel Alexander's. Very decent horse. You know, so, and this one was on the front end that day doing too much and still stuck on well enough only to tire late on. So internally yours to put her best foot forward tomorrow and be too good for this field. A pint each way. Then I like this mayor lads in the 416 at Hurryford. Holly Hartango. She's a 6-4 to four shot. She's trained by Alistair Ralph. Will do a pint win. Now she was very impressive the last day. And the horse she beat came out and won again. So no fluke about this one now. She's after winning her last two. And I think she's pretty decent. So a pint win at 6-4. to four. And then Destiny is all. A pint win at 5-4. This lad's been very unlucky for me. He's been second. He's fell. But I think tomorrow's his day. Two and a half mile. And uh, yeah, he looks. This is it for him tomorrow. If he doesn't win tomorrow, I believe in him loan. A pint win, destiny is all. I haven't got the time. Oh, I have the time here. One second. Uh, two ten of there. Destiny is all. And then I go a pint win treble on the tree. So yeah, hopefully we can get a good result. Uh, eternally yours. I'm expecting a big run off top weight. Holly Hartango could be classy. Let's hope she gets it done. And destiny it all is all. It's now or never. So them three lads. Uh, pint each way. Pint win. Pint win. And a pint win treble. Right. Enjoy your Saturday. Joe Value had another nice winner there today on the service. So really, really, you know, hitting. he's hitting some form. He had a beautiful winner in Exeter. And his horse was just running there now for the second part of the double on YouTube. Uh, it's running as we speak. I don't know. Uh, yeah, they were just about to go down to the start when I started this video. So hopefully he runs well and maybe lands that big double. Um, yeah, look, tomorrow, get ready for Cheltenham, lads. I've been zoning in on some bets. I've been having a bit of bad luck lately. Two of my horses falling yesterday, but I, I, I'm not letting it cloud my judgment. I have some cracking bets for Cheltenham next week. And uh, I I expect a very good week at Cheltenham. I got uh, some nice horses and handicaps that I like. Some horses aren't going to show up. I see they're running and they're entered in better races, but I will be shocked if I don't uh, land a couple of good bets. All right, take care. God bless. Stay safe.